Yo, 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 what is up, my fellow tuber Cesario from the barrio, coming back at you with another video for your butt. Just got to my room, relaxing. It's 420 somewhere. Uh, just got back from Dodge Stadium, actually working. Went to SC in the morning, and then after went to Dodgers at... Helped out with the cleanup from the Pink concert because it just had the Pink concert yesterday. So, you know, went and did some cleaning up and helped fertilize, throwing the granular fertilizer out. So now it's just time to come home and chill in my card room, man, and look at some cards and spend some time with my friends. That's you guys. <laughs> Cheers, that's it. Ah, that's how once it hits your lips. Uh, all right, so I need to catch up, man. There's some stuff that I've probably showed that I'm gonna show. Have not show. I'm not really sure, man. My my mind's been everywhere. But one of the cards that I have picked up lately is this guy right here. This TCMA man. You know, it's called the uh, Renato Galasso. I've always called him the TCMA, but um, it says the world's largest, what is it, hobby card dealer. All right. But sweet um, 77 TCMA of Mickey Mantle. It's in a slab. It's not really um, part of my checklist because my checklist is all tops base run, and this is not tops, even though tops. Did buy out these companies just to shut them down. Uh, I, I did see a video the other day where they called this card illegal. <laughs> yeah, that's a good um, good clickbait right there. <laughs> Am I going to get arrested for having this card? No. Okay, but anyways, and there's some cards I bought a while ago, months ago actually. But I don't, I'm not sure if I ever did show them a couple of Otani cards that I just didn't have. Uh, and then from the thrift store, the antique store, I got this Ken Griffey Jr. VHS. That's sweet. I, I, I think I did show this one before, but it's worth showing again. It's a VHS, man. Come on. All right. And another thing I'm going to share real quick. Uh, something that my daughter brought me back from Las Vegas. So she brought me this. Mighty Mouse uh, soda. And so when she got home, you know, she went with her boyfriend and she told my wife, uh, look, I bought dad this uh, soda with uh, Mighty Mouse, that the one that he has on his blanket. Well, I have a blanket with the mouse, but it's Speedy Gonzalez. So my wife told me she's uh that's not Mighty Mouse on his blanket. That's Speedy Gonzalez. And she says, that's Speedy Gonzalez. Then, then who the fuck is Mighty Mouse? So she thought like, I wouldn't appreciate this or know who he was. But when um, my wife gave it to me, you know, my, my daughter was at work and she told me the story. I said, yeah, I go, just think about it this way. I went to a Funko Pop store and they had... Probably a thousand, you know, hundreds for sure. You know, like a thousand different Funko sodas and pops. I say, and uh, that whole thousand, this is the one I came home with. I'm a Mighty Mouse fan. I have a couple of Mighty Mouse comic books. You know, um, I used to love them as a kid. Used to watch them in Mexico all the time and here in the United States. Ah, uh, but... Yeah, I just thought that was a, a, a pretty funny. Um, I also, I did show this, this flip book with Derek Jeter, Barry Bonds, and Alex Rodriguez. It's a flip book, but I'm not going to open it. I'm just going to keep it like that. I think it's pretty cool to display. And the other day, I went and saw this. And it had a price of 20 bucks on it. And I told that guy, hey, I'll take that uh, 
that Mickey Mon that Mickey Mano baseball card kit. I really don't know what this is. I don't, I'm not sure I'm familiar with it, but it's a baseball card kit, and I guess it has some cards. And he said, um, and I told him, yeah, and you know, it's twenty bucks. I said, hey, I'll take that. And he's all, oh, um, let me look at the price. I don't know how much they go for. I said, oh, it's right there. It's twenty bucks. He's all, not nah, these aren't worth that much. He's all, he's all ten at the most. He's all probably five. And he looks them up. And he says they're seven, seven dollars each. I was like, yeah, okay. Well then, I'll take that Mickey Mantle, and I'll take that Don Mattingly. Sweet as your mother. So I got these two guys, PC. All right. So that was that was that was great, man. Um, you know, and so you know that Mickey Mantle is card related PC, I guess. You know, and so is that. Mickey Mantle um, starter card, starter card kit. But the PC item I wanted to show you guys, I don't know if I want to call it that. Maybe this was clickbaity, all right? But when 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 I was younger, I was a tagger. You know, a lot of people talk about uh, about um, feeling nostalgic, and I always say I, I don't really have such a nostalgic feeling with baseball cards like yeah i remember the past and i remember when i was a kid and stuff but since i really never stopped collecting it's not like a flashback to me you know it's things that i've always thought about like you know if you keep collecting forever you've always been collecting you know i'm gonna run into cards that remind me of cards that i have or already had and you know so i've never stopped thinking about as a child so it's not like <clears throat> now when I go through cards, I go back to it. I've always been there, if you know what I'm saying. You know, it's not something I, I had forgotten about or... Uh, but anyways, I saw Dylan do a video talking about his, like, his best period of collecting. And for me, for so many reasons, you know, it's like, you know, between like 88, you know, 86, 86 to say 92 all right and that was just like all together you know i was playing baseball in high school i was in cross country in high school i was in a party crew you know i had a lot of gang member friends that i used to hang around with but you know i used to collect bikes i used to collect train model trains um and i thought life was great like i was very happy you know and um my high school years, junior high year. But one of the things that that I do feel nostalgic about that I did stop doing is tagging. You know, uh, the, a couple weeks ago we had to go do uh, some training for like, you know, supervisor training. And so, you know, every, you go to different state um, stations and different classrooms and you meet different people and you'll do stuff with other people. And one guy that I had to do something with, he, he he was like drawing on his book and it was like graffiti. And I was like, hey, I go use the tag. He's like, yeah. And, and man, we hit it off. And it's been a long time since I've talked, you know, with someone who was tagging and we're just both bringing back old memories. Like that was nostalgic. Like, oh man, like, because that's something I don't think about too often, you know? So anyways, and then, the other day at work, one of my friends was asking me, he's like, hey, so you were a tagger? And he was like, were you just solo or were you in a crew? I said, no, I was in a crew. You know, and I told him it's KJ, it was KJ. And he's like, what does that stand for? I said, kings have arrived. Kings have arrived. <clears throat> and he was like, oh, I go, yeah, you know, so-and-so this. And I was telling him some stories. And so I said, yeah, I go, back then. I had a King's jersey. I had a black one and I had a white one. He's a, he's a, a Gretzky. I'm like, yeah, it was a Gretzky, but it wasn't um, necessarily because I was like a huge Gretzky fan. Like, yeah, I, you know, I, I collected his cards and I had King's pennants. And I said, but I really bought it because that's what we, that was our thing. We, you know, Kings have arrived. We would always say we're, we're the Kings, you know. Uh, we were the kings, so we wore kings jerseys. I said, so I go, 
that's why we that's why I had those Kings jerseys cuz you know So then um I go to Frankenson's the next day and they're selling the Kings jersey and so I bought it <laughs> So this is like a PC item that's like you know what I mean? I haven't worn one of these in high school. In high school, I had a Giants jersey. I had a Dodgers jersey. I had a lot of jerseys. And to be honest, I guess I never took them with me when I left to Kansas and Kentucky. So my mom must have just gave them away or threw them away. But check this out. I'm going to open this baby up. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, sicko. I love sports, you know, and the endorphins, and I love um, adrenaline rushes. So I, you know, that's one of the things about let me sports and the way baseball cards. It would it would give me endorphins. It would give me adrenaline rushes, and that's why I love playing sports. You know, getting the getting butterflies in your stomach getting nervous getting scared like emotions flying the drum I love that and man when we go tagging there's a lot of places you go tagging you're basically gambling with your life <laughs> like if you get caught like with some fools in certain neighborhoods uh, they're gonna shoot you <laughs> so you always had that rush but you know you play it smart but man I, I miss those days and yeah we I had a jersey just like this when I was younger <laughs> because of my crew. You know, Kings have arrived, KHA. So, anyways, that's um, my PC item. Tell me, what do you guys think? I know this video was kind of slow, man. I'm tired, guys. I'm sincerely tired. So, sorry I'm not showing very much emotions. All right, but anyways, and it's got a C for Caesar. That's my name. Love the hobby. Just keep collecting baseball cards forever, I said. Ciao. Shout out to Shoebox Legends. Johnny Baseball. Y ay, Dios mío, esta pinche comunidad, man. Lo, lo juro, man, es el mejor. But, guys, I have been getting... Um, so, when I did my my 70 and 73 videos... I got a lot of responses, man. So, you know, so thank everybody. And I do have uh, some care packages that I need to open. So I will get to them hopefully tomorrow. We'll see. But, guys, I, I do get, I have your stuff. And hopefully by tomorrow, I can do this. All right. Love the hobby. Keep collecting baseball cards forever, I said. Hey, thank you everybody. The community's awesome. Sophie is awesome.